Thank you very much. And you too. Columbia. Hello, Columbia. This is Prime Minister Gujral from India. Can you hear me? Yes, Mr. Gujral, I hear you loud and clear. How do you read me? Kalpana, we are proud of you. Each one of us in India is proud of us. Proud of a person like you who has done such a pioneering work. And particularly the women and youth of India take great deal of pride in seeing what you have done in the space. My hearty congratulations. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. You know, when I think of you, I think what a long journey you have covered from Karnal to space, long distance. And therefore, when I talk to you, I feel I'm talking to a person who is representing India in the space now. My all good wishes to you. Thank you, sir, uh, very much. Uh, those are very kind words. You know, Kalpana, I do not know if you remember, there is a saying by one of our poets, who is very well known in the subcontinent, Tikbal. He said this, Sitaron se aage jahan aur bhi hain. There are worlds beyond stars. And now you have seen them. How do you feel about them? Uh, it's a very special feeling. Uh, and really out here, the night sky, when you look at it, it, what you are saying does become very literal. It's uh, a dome of a dark sky and stars everywhere and the earth. Uh, last time covered with thunderstorms here and there with uh, some small sprays of lightning. And every once in a while, city lights seep through the clouds. And it uh, is very much like a storybook. And the crew that I'm working with out here, all of us work so well together, and it's such an honor and privilege to be able to share this very special mission with them. You know, it's a wonderful feeling that uh your journey has expanded the frontiers of science and technology. And also at the same time, you have built another new and very formidable and strong bridge between India and America. So I'm very glad that I am, uh, if you say so, I'm able to do that. And in orbit, Kalpana, how do you feel without weight, weightlessness? Is it very difficult experience? As you can tell, right now we are uh, doing a burn and things are just moving all over. I was uh, just moving things out of my way with my legs. Actually, it's uh, not very difficult at all. You get very used to it very fast. Um, so to go from one place to another, always end up telling yourself, take it easy, don't try to do very fast, because otherwise you are just tumbling all over. So gently is the way to go. It must be very interesting to sit with the colleagues and friends in the same weightlessness. Is it a very interesting experience and friendship that you have formed now? That's very true, sir. Um, on our crew, uh, we have people from very different backgrounds, and we bring a lot of different uh, cultures together, and it's just a lot of fun. Uh, it was fun while we trained together, and now in space, too. I don't know if from your uh, satellite you can see some other Indian satellites also, which are also in the space, projecting Indian television program to every home. And yes, sir, I'm aware of that. Yes, but uh, you know, we are also, our scientists and our technologists are sharing the same experience of space. They have not gone themselves to space like you, but they have sent quite a few satellites. And, uh, yes, sir, yeah, I knew about that uh, when I 
was going to school back in Karnal, or I should say in Chandigarh in India. And then also after I came here, uh, I've been following that in the news out here. And I want to extract a promise from you that when you come back to the earth, please come to India with all your friends in the satellite and also your whole family. Sir, the whole crew would love to come, and that would be an honor. You will be most welcome guest of the Indian people and the government. They all take so much pride in you and excited about you that when you come and meet them, they'll be extremely delighted, and you must come. So, yes, we will surely come, and like I said, that's definitely an honor. And if I may just uh, take a second, I'd like to introduce uh, my crew members to you. And first of all, I'm going to bring the pilot on board. His name is Steve Lindsay, and uh, Steve and I trained together in the class that I came in. Thank you very much, but also kindly c convey my invitation to your fellow travelers who are in space with you, the captain and everybody else. For sure, sir. Uh, please and tell them that this is a very warm and hearty invitation to all of you. I will pass that up, sir. And you know, uh, uh, Kalpana, the, you come originally, your family came from Karnal. And it was in that area where a famous poet Kalidas was there, who wrote that famous song about the swim of the swan. Yes, and I know, I know about that. Uh, that's a very special thing. And you are that swan now swimming in the space. That does sound good. And thank you very much once again. My feeling of thanks to you for all that you have performed. You have made all of us proud of you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you for calling us on the orbiter. And if you would just take a second, uh, a couple of days ago, we taped a view of uh, Himalayas from the orbiter, and I will downlink it to you for a minute or so, and we can be talking while that's happening. Thank you. And Mr. Prime Minister and uh, all the people from India, we taped this view a few days ago. I was hoping that uh, maybe by chance when the call came, uh, we'd be flying over some regions that folks there were familiar with. But the view of Himalayas is so magnificent that it really belongs to all of us, as you can see on this video. 